Because this is just so wildly incorrect. It's just causing problems. All right. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. All right, so this is part two of me trying to reinstall or replace a USB-C two port. So this is going to be a pain. And the reason this is gonna be a pain is because they don't sell this part with the right leg shape. So I have to manually make this fit somehow. That's what we're gonna do now. And I think, I have a feeling that it's actually reversed in, in the opposite direction. So let's pull this out. I think the issue that I thought I was going to have is actually the opposite of what I'm actually going to have. So as you can see, this is like walking around with your USB port plugged in. All of these pins are broken. And this is the replacement. So some modifications that I need to make. There are legs down here which are supports i just have to see if that's gonna work because if i if i can't get the proper like replacement for this then this person's like if i can't make this work this person's sol for getting this this laptop fixed i need to verify that the, the these guys here aren't going to clip anything and then these legs I have to actually straighten out to make them more vertical without damaging anything. I need to see which of these feet actually fit because I believe the feet that actually fit are the rear ones. Okay, so let's, let's look at this together. So that's the place that we need to go. The pads are on the bottom, so let's and that's what we're, this is where we're going. Now, let's, let's see which of these holes actually line up. All right, so we're looking at the front ones lining up, but the rear ones are not. And these holes line up, that's fine. So I need to just bend these, these two out, so. Pick that up, flip it over. And I think these cutouts here, I wanna flip this over. Cause I think these cutouts that are underneath here are actually gonna be fine. Okay, let's see if this will slot in here, which I think it will. All right, so it looks like we should be able to That lines up, this is gonna be tight. All right, well, let's, let's bendy bend and see what happens. Bend it like Beckham to try and fit it in here. So one thing I'll need to do is I need to come and verify. I think I already did low melt solder on here, which yeah, I had you have. So what needs to happen now is I need to Figure out a way to hold this. Probably just do that. And then. All right, let's see how much closer we are now. Just those simple little guys. Bent a little bit. Like, I don't know, I can't tell what I think. I think we're pretty, pretty close. 
I think like one side will, will go in no problem. I also think that, there we go. Yeah, this is going to be, so I think that's in there. I think I need to bend these back. I don't, like that's in there now. So I think I need to either grind that back a little bit. No, I think that would fit if it wasn't for that little tab sticking out the front. All right. All right, I think. Hi, editing Chris here. I wanna talk about what happens during the rest of this video. What you're actively seeing is confirmation bias, basically, where my cognitive attention is on something that is not actually a problem and it forces me to ignore what is actually a problem. So looking at this frame that I've frozen here, there are three things that are working against me when I'm trying to actively get this DC jack in, or this DC jack, this USB-C port in. And in this one picture, you can actually see all three of the things preventing me. But because I was so focused on just one thing, I only focus on that. So the three things that are actually preventing me from putting this in are the rear leg, which that's what I'm focusing on, the back support leg that goes around the pins, and then there is a pin on the bottom that is sticking up, that is physically making contact with the, mother's, or the motherboard, preventing me from physically slotting it down. Now, if I had taken just a second and not been so confident with it, I would have seen it and I want to save myself two hours of work on like, you know, on this attempt. Instead, I just trudge ahead, think, okay, if I make one small adjustment here, one small adjustment here, I'll make it work. But in the end, none of those adjustments actually worked. So what I ended up having to do is remove the type C port that was next to it and just move it over into this port, uh, into this socket so that the customer could charge the laptop. If I had just taken a couple seconds, I would have seen that this was such a wildly bad idea from the get-go. I could have avoided a lot of wasted time. So enjoy the rest of this video with that knowledge and yeah, just keep what I said in mind. If I bend this, if I just try and bend this back a little bit, Otherwise, I'm gonna have to come in here and figure out a way to notch that. I don't think there's a way that this can be slid back anymore because these these rear ones are only gonna fit in there one place. I mean, my other option is to straight up remove them, but I don't wanna try and, I don't wanna do that yet. I wanna keep that there for rigidity seeing as it's the actual plug. So it needs to be cut, make sure I do this the right way, is the leading edge of both of these. So the leading edge of this and the leading edge of this. These need to be cut off. Let's see if we can split this in half without breaking anything. Ooh, that, there we go. I think we're good. You poor child. Flip it over, look at it from the bottom. We got legs, almost. Almost, we're gonna have to make sure that's all the way in there. And how close are these pins to actually touching? But yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. It's a nice positive feel when I put it in there. And it's not like it's gonna come out or anything. All right. Is it lopsided? No, I think it's actually pretty, that looks pretty square to me. Like these legs might be a little lopsided, but now that's in there. And as long as we get, as long as we get solid, like a solid connection here, which it looks like we should there. As I'm as I'm putting solder in here, I'm gonna do that thing where I'm pushing it down. 
This is this is the only spot where I'm actually like a little. Oh no, there, that's fine. Yeah, that that guy's in there. I'm pretty sure that I could just like put a power cord in here right now and it would turn on. The other thing I need to check, which I need to remember about, is these rear posts. These fit in here perfectly in between here. All right, I think we're ready. Let's hit this with some uh, warm air. See how she do. All right, so we're gonna go back to this. I'm like 99% sure that stuff's touching. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna shove some solder here or some flux. This is the moment of truth for getting this guy back on here. And we're gonna see if this was actually down low enough, which it doesn't look like it was, does it? Not touching, not touching. That one is, that was not, not, not. All right, so it was worth a shot. So we need to get we have to press this into this board a little bit more. All right, so I need to see where this is actually making contact. That thing's retaining quite a bit of heat. These guys don't want to. So that side's going in okay. That isn't. Well, remember, like, even the listing for this said it needed to be modified to make it fit. I might need to cut these rears. So it's this right here that's causing a problem. I think I might just chop these in half and see if. We're making a lot of modifications to this thing. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but like that was my cutter like deforming around the cut it's random I guess I have to like work on these things again because all I need to do yeah exactly all I need to do is split this in half because then whichever side it needs to be should be able to just go in So I need to cut off the back one of that. And then this one. Looks like this should. Okay, so I need to just cut off the back side of both of those. At least now I know. All right. Trying to figure out how much of a gap there is there. Looks like there's a pretty big one. Like, this thing isn't even close to touching these. This one looked like it went in just fine. 
Oh, that guy's in there. That one is not. So when I flip this over... This part that's sticking out the back is the problem. Maybe that is it? It's just... It's a real tight spot. And it still looks like there's a gap, though. So I gotta get all the way down to there. See how, like, see how far I still have to press? I figure out which part is hanging me up right now. Is that the inside of this plug? I'm trying to figure out what is preventing this from going down at this point. I think there's another, like there's a shoulder inside there. Yeah, so that has to come off. What is that even? This right here. This is what's stopping it from going down right now. Whatever that is. How the hell am I supposed to modify that? Yeah, I guess. I don't, I don't know where it is, though. Yeah, that right there. That is preventing me from installing this. I don't really have much recourse here. I'm going to modify this thing more. This is such a bad idea. I don't really have a better one. That's too small. I physically can't get into the space. Like seriously, like here's the tip of my wire cutters next to that pin. That seemed to work. This is where we hope that, that that thing isn't like some sort of thing that connects all the pins together for some reason. Because that would really suck. That's in there, that's in there, that's in there, that's in there. This is much closer. Still making contact with the board. So I think I need to go I need to go deeper because it's still making contact. Yeah, it's not like, it's not gonna directly line up because it's not designed for this computer. That's the problem. And you can't buy the one for this computer. Like if they actually just made this for this computer, like 99% of my problems go away. It's really hard to get a depth of field on this. <sighs> this thing has been like hyper, hyper modified now. I don't know how much more, like I keep saying this, I don't know how much more modification of this I can make. Every time I do this, we are getting closer, and it feels like it's getting closer. It's not. But it still feels like it's too vertical. It actually looks pretty close, though. I'm not gonna lie. Just need to figure out if there is something. Oops. Actively, like, holding it up comes down to it I'll remove the that that those rear legs entirely just so I can make contact like how far away are we so you can see by the way it's sitting like I'm starting to see what the what like more of what the problem actually is the physical body of this thing is making contact 
Like it almost needs to go in like that and just sit in there gently and not be shoved down like I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to modify to make this thing fit. Like it just doesn't, it just does not want to fit. I mean, it's 5.30. And this day just flew by. So I think it's making, like the other problem is it's making contact like right there. Oh, did I mangle? I think I mangled one of these pens too. I sure did. Yeah, well, this whole thing is now wasted. This thing is going to be one of the unsafest things ever. Unfortunately. Uh, why couldn't they just sell this pin? Okay, that, whatever I just did helped. Alright, I think what I'm going to end up doing, because this is power, I think I'm going... I'm going to desolder this and move it to there for the power because this is just so wildly incorrect it's just causing problems hey thanks for watching that video if you liked that video make sure you hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and i stream daily on twitch at twitch.tv slash spec vengeance and uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.